Hello. And welcome. It is time for the second quest. Link has completed his first quest. And it's time to move on to a brand new challenge. Everything is shuffled. Everything is new. This time, it's a dragon quest. Or it's a quest in which Link is a dragon warrior. But it's also a dragon quest. I mean, after 2003, it's officially a dragon quest. But now, Link is also... A dragon warrior. Look, don't worry about it too much. Um, I will enter Link's name here, which is Link, the name of the protagonist of this game being Link. Normally I would go with fast mes message speed, but in this case I think normal should suffice. Alright, so there is our hero, Link, talking to the king. Uh, who will surely tell us that it's dangerous to go alone and offer something that we can take. Descendant of Erdrich, listen now to my words. It is told that in ages past, Erdrich fought demons with a ball of light. Then came the Dragon Lord, who stole the precious globe and hid it in the darkness. Oh no! I love precious globes. Now, Link, thou must help us recover the ball of light and restore peace to our land. The Dragon Lord must be defeated. Take now whatever thou may find in these treasure chests. Capital C, capital C, capital T, capital C. These treasure chests are a big deal. To aid thee in thy quest. Alright, so it's, it's dangerous to go alone, so I will take what, 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 thou are, what, what thou art offering. Then speak with the guards, for they have much knowledge that may aid thee. I have a feeling it won't aid me. We'll get into that. May the light shine upon thee, Link. Oh, thank you. May the light shine upon you, too. I mean, the thou. Okay, Link, level one. 23 hit points to start out with, two magic points. No spells. No spells yet. No items yet. Nothing of use has yet been given to thee. Uh, you can talk to the king again, who will... Oh. When I'm finis finished preparing for my departure. Okay. So, let's see if the guards actually have any advice. East of this castle is a town where armor, weapons, and many other items may be, may be purchased. Return to the inn for a rest if thou art wounded in battle, Link. Okay, so that first part is not going to be applicable, because... We are playing the randomizer, which means that town could be anywhere. Sleep heals all. That much is true. Sleep does heal all. If thou hast collected all the treasure chests, a key will be found. Once you use, the key will disappear, but the door will be open and thou may pass through. Yeah, that much is true. So... Uh, this treasure chest is always a magic key, which is a holdover from the vanilla Dragon Warrior game. Um, yeah, this is Dragon Warrior Randomizer. Uh, you have the option to play uh, with a number of different sprites. One, one of them is Link, and I thought it would be funny, you know, just a little joke. You, you all saw the title of this video. This this is not Zelda related, but uh, I thought I thought it'd be fun if I was. Link, at least for this first first attempt. So, this is always a magic key. These two treasure chests could be literally anything. They could be the best weapon and armor in the game. They could be critical plot items. And if you leave this room without getting these treasure chests, and they are critical plot items, then you're boned and you have to start over. Because uh, if you leave without getting these treasure chests, they will disappear. Okay, speaking of, it may be the best armor in the game. It was the best armor in the game. And a second magic key, which is actually a really good find. 
I promise I didn't like set this seed up or anything to give me Erdrick's armor. Uh, the the only thing I checked before starting this video was uh, I checked to make sure the castle isn't sitting in the middle of a swamp because that can give you a very slow start and make the beginning of the seed pretty tedious. Uh, but now it doesn't matter because I have Erdrick's armor, which negates all all swamp damage, and it gives me a mighty defense boost. Uh, so your attack power is equivalent to your strength plus the power of whatever weapon you have. Uh, your and your defense is half of your agility rounded down plus whatever defense boost the armor gives you. So before I got the armor, it would have been ten. So it gives me 20, 28 points of defense, um, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this is an excellent start to a seed. Uh, so I, I use my one of my magic keys there, but I still have one, which is going to come in real handy if it takes me a while to find Rimmeldar, which is the town where you, you can buy your first magic key. Um, Yeah, this is this is going to be an interesting seed. So I could use my magic key to open this room and get all of those treasure chests. Uh, but then if there's no magic key in there, then I have to wait until I find R Rimmeldar. Uh, I could also use the magic key to open this door. And then that guy over to the right sells more magic keys, but I don't have enough gold to do that yet. So I'm going to have to go out exploring a little bit. Uh, make enough money to buy at least at least one magic key and, and then I can start looking around preferably two all right so since I have Erdrick's armor uh, the, the swamp is no danger to me which is very nice that means I can explore with impunity so because of my amazing armor this magidraki is not doing much to me, but I'm also not doing much to the Magidraki. Alright, nine, 9 boost to my power there, 3 boost to my agility. Tiny HP boost, decent magic point boost, but I still don't have any spells, so that's a bummer. Oh, I got surprised by the scorpion with hurt more. I art dead. Four more XP to go up a level. So I'm using a few quality of life improvements that the randomizer has optionally that you can enable. Uh, I've disabled the music, which... Uh, doesn't disable all of the music, there's still the, the little level up jingle, the music when you die, and the music when you rest in an inn. Uh, the, only, the only one that's really obnoxious is the death music, so I'm going to mute it whenever that jingle plays, which should be a lot. Even with Erdrick's armor, I'm, I'm going to die a lot in the beginning, that's kind of just how it goes. And instead of the... Dragon Warrior 1 music, which is pretty atrocious. Uh, I have a playlist of some nice SNES RPG music. And uh, you can see the, the title of the songs appearing down there in the bottom left corner of the screen. So if you hear something you like, you can look it up later. Uh, I also turn on fast text, which makes these fights go a lot faster. Yeah. Alright, so can't really fight scorpions yet. I mean, I can, if I get lucky. But yeah, for now, I just kind of have to hope that they don't cast hurt more. So I might be running from scorpions, at least until, until I can get some offensive magic. Okay, that was a, a successful run. We have a cave down there that we can explore. So I, hopefully the level up jingle and 
the the battle success jingle don't intrude on the, the music too much I, I don't think it's that big of a deal the death music is really obnoxious so i'll be hitting mute whenever that happens but uh the, the other two i think aren't too intrusive in the end music but we have a while before we get to that point Ooh, nice HP boost. Nice magic point boost. Still no spells. Okay. So I just punched that Draki for eight. Oh. Yeah. I'm not ready to fight a golem yet by any stretch. Not even close. It just surprised me and one-shotted me. Okay, so the randomizer tries to make sure that the starting area around the castle has weakish enemies. So you can, you know, worst case scenario, if I don't have any equipment or, or any magic, I can at least walk around in circles in the vicinity, vicinity of the castle. Ooh, the ghost has fire breath, but not the bad one. I have done well in defeating the ghost. People often tell me that. Ah. And stop spell. Not incredibly useful. But might come in handy. It depends. It depends on what skills and spells the enemies have, which is the the main thing about the enemies that's been randomized. You know, what enemies can show up where has been randomized, which is why I'm running into, you know, golems practically right next to the castle. Uh, all of the en enemy stats are the same, but their skills have been shuffled. So, you know, the slime, for all I know, it might have Dragon Lord Broth that can immediately decimate me. Okay, so the dungeons we can't explore yet. Or I can't explore, because I don't have a torch. All I have is this magic key. Uh, yeah, I think the first thing I want to do is make enough gold to buy two magic keys. So that way I can, I can open both the doors in the castle. Which means I can see what's in the chests. If I don't keep getting hurt more to death. But yeah, if I if I can buy two more magic keys, then I can replace the key that I used to open the door to buy more keys, and I can also uh, get into the treasury and have some left over. I think keys cost about sixty in the castle. I might be wrong about that though. Every time you die. It teleports you back to the king and you lose half of your gold. Which, you know, all things considered, is a pretty generous death penalty for a Nintendo game. It's not like uh, Final Fantasy where you just lose everything and you just have to load an old save. I just got 19 points of agility. Holy crap. Alright, some more MP and a new spell. Return. Okay. So I can return to the castle anytime I want as long as I have at least 8 magic points. There's no way to heal in the castle. Uh, nothing sells herbs and there's no inn. Uh, but you can talk to this guy and get your magic points back. So my max MP is 23. So I can cast off spell, which has a chance of preventing enemies from casting spells, although there is a resistance stat, and I think that costs 
3 or 5, and then return costs 8. NES games were fairly primitive, so they... Uh... They don't tell you how much the spells actually cost to cast. Alright, so I can open this door. Which will use my my one magic key. You can also go into your items and use the key that way. Or, or you can choose door from the menu. They both work. Alright, talk to this guy. 85 gold. Dang. So I only have enough to buy the one. Okay, well that'll have to do for now. And then I will go down here and see what is in this cave. Whatever it is, if it's a if it's a dark cave, I can't explore it yet. But it may be a free chest as well. Stairs. Okay. It's a dark dungeon, can't do anything there yet. However, since I haven't gone out to the world map, this door is still open, which means I don't have to waste a key getting back in here. Now, I could go on ahead and open up the treasury. It's very likely that I'll get enough gold to buy another key. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Purse belt? Great. Berry water? Okay, none of these chests have gold. I'm, I'm going to be very cross. Dragon scale? And fairy flute. No gold, no magic key. Okay. So the fairy water prevents enemies um, that are weaker than you from spawning, basically. The curse belt, you're not allowed to enter the castle if you're wearing cursed equipment, but you can sell it for a little bit of gold. There's nowhere to sell items in the castle. And the fairy flute uh, puts the golem enemy to sleep. And dragon scale gives you two points of defense. But unlike the other equipment, the Dragon Skull uh, takes up an inventory slot. You, you only get 10 of them, and the only items that stack are the magic keys and the herbs, the, the healing herbs, which I haven't found yet. So you do have to be a little bit careful about your, your inventory. Um, the Fairy Flu is technically, I mean, it's an optional quest item, basically. Um, in Vanilla Dragon Warrior 1, the fairy flute helps you defeat the golem that is standing in the way of uh, Cantlin, which is the last town in the game. And it's possible to kill the golem without it, but it's much easier if you do have the fairy flute. Um, there's no way to discard items, so this will be taking up a slot in my inventory permanently, unfortunately. But in the randomizer, there's more than one golem, which makes the fairy flute more useful than it would otherwise be. Okay, so here's here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into whatever dungeon this is and hope I can defeat an enemy <laughs> uh, and don't immediately get owned. And I need, what, 80, 85 gold? So I need like 50 gold to buy another magic key. But I'd really like not, I'd like to not leave the castle until I can, uh, until I can buy another magic key. And some people are able to navigate these, these dungeons. Oh no. That's, that's the, that's the wrong enemy. I don't want to fight an armored knight. That was part of the, the death music. Alright, now is that stuff still open? Because I, I still technically haven't left the castle. Yeah, it is. So once I leave the castle and come back in, all, all those chests will be back, but the, the door will be back too. So... Ah, <sighs> I should have been more patient. I shouldn't have counted on one of those chests having gold. That's what I get. That's what I get for not being patient. I wanted to see what, what was in the chest though. Alright, let's see if I can fight not an armor knight. I, 
think I might know which cave this is. No. A wraith, but it casts stop spell. Hmm. Okay. Well, this might be kind of a slog because I'm only doing three to four points of damage. Oh, it has hurt more too, of course. But as long as it just keeps attacking, casting the stop spell. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing half of my gold every time that happens. So my, my odds of buying another magic key are slim at this point. Of course, it's possible that uh, Rimmeldar is not far from here, but I'd rather not have to find out. Like, if I could buy another key, like, that would that would be ideal. Oh, it was still muted. Alright, this is just going to be a die roll. I don't know exactly how many hit points the Wraith has, but it's double digits. Oh, if I can stop it from casting Hurt More, though. Alright, that worked. Okay. So if I if I can get the hurt more off early, the Wraith is theoretically a good source of money. Dang it. I thought I would actually pull that off. Okay, well, now that I know I can stop Spell the Wraith... Ah, some nice cheery town music. So it took me forever to put, put together this playlist because I wanted music from uh, as many Super Nintendo or Super Famicom RPGs, non-square RPGs, as I had available. And it turns out that's quite a lot. Uh, this playlist is like six days long. Yeah, six days, 15 hours long. Um, and this isn't every non-square Super NES RPG, but it's it's most of them. There are a few that I didn't have, and it's quite a wide variety. All the SNES Dragon Quest games are on there, of course, because that was before Enix and Squaresoft had merged. A bunch of stuff I never heard of before I put together the playlist. All right, come on, give me a wraith. There we go. All right, let's hope this works. It did. So the enemies aren't that smart. They'll continue trying to cast spells even when they, uh, even when they've been blocked. And once an enemy has been stop spelled, it lasts for the duration of the fight. So it can hit harder than me, but it's also wasting turns casting spells. 
So it's a battle of attrition, but I should ultimately... Okay, there we go. And I got a level out of it. Nice. No hit points, but I did get a new spell outside. Oh, but will that put me outside the castle, though? I think it will. And I won't be able to get back to the key shop. I shouldn't have tried to go into the dungeon. That was that was a mistake. I still have no idea which dun which dungeon this is. There we go. Made it. Okay. So now I can buy the key and then get the hell out of here and start actually exploring the world. And I apologize if I seem paranoid about this, but I've had seeds where I, n I never, never found Rimmeldar. Like, there were so many things I could have been doing if I had, if I had keys, but I couldn't find Rimmeldar and eventually I, I just gave up. So, I don't- I don't want to get down to zero keys. Alright, refill my MP. Alright, so any dungeon that we explore, we can now cast outside and warp out. Not that it matters, because with uh, no torches and no- no radiant spell, I won't be exploring dungeons anytime soon. Alright, Matt- the Magidraki is scared of me. Uh, these things have hurt more. Okay, I'll take it. It's tr it's tricky because a lot of enemies have resistance to stop spell, even though they don't use magic in Vanilla Dra Dragon Warrior 1. Oh no, wizards are bad news, this, but this thing just has baby breath. Oh, the wizards hit really hard if they attack, so... I'm not ready to fight a wizard yet, that's like... That, that's an in-game enemy. So, I'll be running from wizards, at least for now. Green Dragon? I can't fight it, Green Dragon. I'm still just punching with my fists. Ow. Ow. Oh. Jesus. So yeah, in Vanilla Dragon Warrior, there's a town right next to the castle where you can, you can go and buy some equipment. And unlike a lot of randomizers, this one shuffles the entire world map. So not only are all of the locations different, I don't even know where the locations are. And there is an option to play with the vanilla map, which I might end up doing. Yeah, gold, Goldman's give you a lot of money, but they also take forever to uh, huh. forever to kill. So I can use my Fairy Flute. Which plays this extremely long little jingle, but then I'm probably going to do like... Whoa! Oh, that made the battle music come bad. That's weird. I hope the battle music isn't back permanently. Okay, well I'm going to mute it for now. Yeah, I cannot hit this thing, and this thing hits me for 42. So I'm going to put it to sleep and then run away. <laughs> because that's the other thing that the Fairy Flute is good for. Uh, as long as they don't surprise me, then using the Fairy Flute 
uh, gives you a, a free guaranteed run. Okay. Where does this cave go? I can't fight a blue dragon yet. I don't have any weapons. Alright, that is a... a dungeon? A proper dungeon. Um, the reason I'm checking... is because... Uh, some of the dungeons are just old men who give you items. If you have, like, the, the proper quest items needed. Ooh, another town. Or a town. First town I've seen. Alright, this is Garenham. Nice. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is... Take a snooze. It is said that the princess was kidnapped and taken eastward. Alright, what kind of equipment do you got? I don't have any money, but just so I know. Alright, broadsword, half plate. Okay. Could be good. Shortly. So I can use my magic key to get in here, which will give me access to uh, another dungeon exit, which may or may not be an actual dungeon. There are also some chests in here, but again, this would put me in the position of not having any keys. So I'm not going to do that just yet. And then there's an item shop. Item shops aren't, aren't randomized at all, so you can always buy the same stuff. So I'm going to buy a torch and see if I can try to explore one of these dungeons. I can't fight a knight, right? No, there's no way. Yeah, these things are hitting me for, for 20, even with the best armor in the game. Magidraki's probably, uh, probably fine. Yeah. Can't fight a wizard. Or I would strongly prefer not to fight a wizard. Can't fight an armored knight. I'm going to put this golem to sleep. And then run. Because otherwise, uh, your run, run chance versus the golems is pretty low. <sighs> oh, I'm still alive. I still have no way to heal, unless I want to grind for, uh, some, some money. I, I can sell the Cursed Belt, that, that'll give me like a couple hundred. Alright, I'm going to use the Fairy Water, which won't have an effect now, but I just have no real reason to have it in my inventory. Uh, alright, so use my torch. Okay, this is... This is Erdrich's dungeon, so this is the free item dungeon. Uh, there are no monsters in this cave. In Vanilla Dragon Warrior, this uh, it's not really a dungeon, really. It's just two very small floors. Um, there's a treasure chest with an item that basically just gives you a little bit of like lore. And uh, it's called Erdrich's Tablet. And that, that item's been removed from the randomizer. So, instead, it's basically a free item, and we will see shortly what that free item is. And I don't have these dungeons memorized, and when you only have a 3x3 three three square of light, uh, finding your way around isn't the easiest thing. Death Necklace. Okay, so that could potentially be a lot of money, actually. Um, let's cast Outside. And I have 18 MP. Alright, let's make my way back to Garenham, if I'm not killed by a blue dragon, and sell these trash items and see how much money I get. I think that the Death Necklace could be like 1800. Oh no! Oh, uh, stone men are hard to run away from. Also, the uh, the fairy flute doesn't work on them, unfortunately. E even though 
through a pallet swap with the golem. It only works on the golem. And I can't cast sleep on them. I, I didn't notice I picked up hurt. So you, you can only sell items at an item shop. You can't sell them at a weapon and armor shop. So I will sell the death necklace. 1200, okay, yeah, 1200, not 1800. I think there's another death necklace you can find that only sells for like 180 or something. And I, I think the curse belt sells for about that too. Yeah, 180, okay. Uh, and if you try to sell a quest item, it won't let you, even though I don't technically need the fairy flute to finish the game. Uh, it's just in my inventory forever. And if you play it outside of battle... Nothing happens. It doesn't start up the music outside of battle, does it? No. Okay. Sorry. Alright, so... I have 1,400 gold to play with. I could grind for a little bit and get the broadsword, which is a very good mid-game mid, mid weapon. Uh, but I think I'll actually just get the hand axe. And that's it for now. And I'll stock up on herbs, because I don't currently have a better way to heal. And you can only hold six of them. But again, they, they do actually stack in your inventory. Much like the magic key, the only two items that do. Uh, let's buy another torch. And let's cast return to get back to the castle. Because now that I have a magic key and a decent amount of money, I can stock up on magic keys and not, not have to worry about them for a while. And I can see what this cave is. Get my magic points back. Yeah, apparently there was a SNES version of Dungeon Master. Which I, I wasn't aware of. I knew there was a Sega CD version. I, that was the only console version I was aware of. Alright, stock up on keys. Heck yeah. I don't want to worry about keys for the rest of my life. So yeah. You can carry up to six of each. And there's no reason for me to raid the armory again, right? There was no... What, wait, was the death necklace in here? Because if it was, that would be a decent gold grind. No, that, that was a curse belt. Fairy, fairy water... And this one's empty because I already had the flute, and it can't give me a second flute. And another dragon scale. Great. Place the key I just bought and venture forth into this dungeon. I really don't like doing dungeons uh, when I don't have Radiant. I mean, I don't like doing dungeons in general. Oh, a droll. This might be okay. Yeah, drills are fine. So, if you have watched me stream in the past, then you know I hate darkness as a difficulty mechanic. Uh, I, I just think it's annoying not being able to see. And 
this is the only Dragon Warrior game that does this. Uh, all of the other ones, you know, pretty much immediately stopped doing this. But like, the frame rate in the dungeons is, is just so terrible, and you have such low visibility, and like even with Radiant, you get a five by five square instead of a three by three square, which is better, but it's still obnoxious. Luckily, this dungeon is pretty straightforward. Uh, so I want to stop Spell the Wraith, right? Yeah. And now that I have an actual weapon... This shouldn't be as annoying of a fight. So this is the Swamp Cave, which serves two purposes. Wait, I think, is this...? Yeah, it's a Swamp Cave. So, aw, metal slime, but it ran away. So, the Swamp Cave in Vanilla Dragon Warrior connects two different continents, and it's pretty easy to find your way through it even when you don't have a torch, because it's just one incredibly long hallway going from north to south, and then uh, you just do a little turn around the corner and you find the other set of stairs. So, the exit is here, and I don't know... Oh, okay. Yeah, I have been here. Yeah, that was just another cave that I couldn't... couldn't navigate my way through. Okay, well, at least now I know. Um, but the Swamp Cave... Also has the princess, and rescuing the princess is sort of an optional quest in this game, um, especially in vanilla Dragon Warrior, if you played the game before. Uh, she gives you an item that tells you how many steps away from the castle you are, like your, uh, your co coordinates on the map, which is necessary for finding one of the key items, but that item's in the same spot every time you play in Vanilla Dragon Warrior. Uh, so if you played it once, then you don't have to rescue the princess after that. Um, but in, in Randomizer, that spot on the map is shuffled, so it could be anywhere. It could also be close enough to the castle that you don't need the item that she gives you, uh, because it might be close enough that you can just count. So, yeah, rescuing the princess, not strictly necessary, but I might do it anyway. Okay, kind of a weak level there. Still don't have any healing spells, which is a bummer. Okay, Metal Scorpion's only doing one to me. One to six. Ish. This is a nice tune. Nice and relaxing. Nice crit. Okay, so I found Sherlock. This is the Dragon Lord's castle. I cannot get into Sherlock until I have the rainbow drop, which makes a bridge appear here so I can cross this moat. Uh, in Randomizer, uh, Sherlock always appears in this little like walled-off area because uh, in Vanilla Dragon Warrior, it's sort of off on its own little island. So to get the rainbow drop, I have to get the, the Stones of Sunlight, which are... No, I don't already have those. So you need the Stones of Sunlight and the Staff of Rain. And you need Erdrick's Token. And once you have all, all three of those, the uh, one of the old men in the caves will make the rainbow drop for you. I need to sell... Well, let's go ahead and use this uh, fairy water. I need to sell this other dragon scale in this cursed belt next next chance I get. Uh, I'm getting kind of sick of being surprised and not being able to run. Use an herb. What's my max HP right now? 54? Okay, that's good enough for now. My agility must be terrible. No, it's 56. 
That's honestly not bad for level 7. I don't know why I'm being surprised so much. Just bad die rolls, I guess. Because there is some element of randomness. Alright, let's see how much damage the wizard does if it attacks me. 16? Ugh. Wow, didn't surprise me. Alright, nothing up here. Just a big ol' empty continent. No! No! Okay, well, at least it'll, it only has baby breath. Which is what it has in the vanilla game, but... Alright, how much damage do I do to the golem now that I have the axe? Or... That's not good enough, and it's gonna wake up. Uh, it has a 33% chance of waking up every turn. It is guaranteed to fall asleep if you play the fairy flute, though, so... <sighs> wow! Could I stop getting surprised, please? Oh, I'm dead. Okay, well... That's okay, I kinda wanna explore... A little bit more around Tantajo Castle, anyway. Alright, actually, let's head to Garenham now that I have more magic keys. And I can see what, if anything, is in Garen Garenham's cave. Or wh wherever that, that exit leads now. A good 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 ghost. Very spooky. All right, sell my stuff. And I might as well replace the herbs that I used. And I'm, I'll probably need another torch, right? Yeah. Alright, chests, what do you got for me? Decent amount of gold. Erdrick's token, okay. Well, that'll save me some hassle. And fairy water. I, I don't use fairy water even in the vanilla game because basically all it does is replicate the effects of the repel spell. And by the time I want that effect, I, I've usually unlocked Repel by that point. I don't, I don't think that was necessary, but I just wanted to be safe. Alright, well, I don't need armor. Can't buy the broadsword just yet, so I guess I'll stick with my hand axe for now. Alright, and there is a secret exit at the back of Girenham's grave, which you get a hint about in one of the towns. So normally you have to find Garen's harp 
to give to one of the old men who will then give you the Staff of Rain. But of course, it's randomizer. Things are different. Everything's topsy-turvy. Okay, so this is the guy who actually asks for the Silver Harp. But there's a chance that that chest doesn't have the Staff of Rain anyway, so... It's all very, uh, very complicated. Vanilla Dragon Warrior 1, at least the original N Nintendo version, is basically an extremely long fetch quest chain with like 30 hours of, gr of uh, grinding that you have to do. And later remakes of Dragon Warrior 1 have softened the experience curve quite a bit. One. Ugh. So if you play like the Super Famicom uh, remake of Dragon Dragon Quest One, uh, it's not a bad little game. I mean, it's it's simple. There's not a lot to it, but you can finish it in about six hours or so instead of the the thirty hours of. Uh, of grinding that the original requires. Ooh. That's Dragon Lord Breath. It didn't kill me because I have uh I have Erdrick's armor, but still. <sighs> okay. Don't uh don't mess with Star Star Wyverns. Ugh. Wait. No, the Swamp Cave did take me to a different location. A different continent. Okay, so I, I will need to, to explore that. Okay, so, so what's in this cave then? This might be Garen's grave. Um... No, this is this is Erdrick's cave, and I, I already did this one, and it was nothing important. Okay, so don't have to worry about that. What does hurt do to a goldman? Yeah, about the same as my attack at this point, maybe a little bit more, but it's only dealing. A few points of damage to me, so it's a decent source of money. Oh, why did I do that? I can't fight this. All right, let's try not to get owned by a star wyvern or an armor knight, preferably. Ugh. Oh, I forgot to unmute it. Oh well. I went to mute it, and it was already already muted. I mean, the sound effects aren't super important in this game, other than trying to fumble your, your way around in dark caves. But I still I, st I like having them. Like I like the interface beeps and the the victory noises and like Dragon Quest always had satisfying hit sounds, and... Ugh. And like, r run sounds, and stair sounds, they, like, all of that stuff is really good. It's just a shame that the battle music will eventually drive you completely bananas. Because the music's terrible and the encounter rate is high enough that you hear it, you know, every five seconds or something. Well, 
Those are mountains. Can't walk through mountains. Hey, Metal Slime's actually not going to immediately run from me. Nice. So yeah, they, they don't give you the massive amounts of XP that they do in later Dragon Warrior Dragon Quest games. Um and in this, in the randomizer is actually boosted to 255, which is, which is the maximum amount of experience or gold you can get from a fight, because it's, it's limited to an 8-bit number. Um, but I mean, 255 is still, you know, it's not bad. In vanilla, it's like 100 something, which which really isn't that that great for what you have to do to kill one. But it's something, I guess. 17 power, nice. Eight hit points, and I got a new spell. What did I? What did I get? Heal more, nice. That is good to have. It's basically required for finishing the game, and it might actually let me power my way through some of these some of these more difficult fights. Oh, I thought I might have a chance of getting away from the armor knight there, but it did enough. It did enough damage to to do me in. All right, well, let's head back in that general direction, I guess, because I'm still not still not done exploring that that area. Now I can one shot a metal scorpion. That's good. I'm not close to buying the broadsword yet, but that's okay. In some of the later games, slash remakes of this, the Magidraki is called a Dracolite, which is pretty good. I don't like Star Wyverns. Regular Wyvern might be okay. Yeah, that's not bad. That's manageable. Don't surprise me, Golem. Know that the enemy's sprite blocks part of the UI, which is nice. Ugh. Run before I have to listen to any more of that music. Hey, two Falcom game tracks in a row. East and then Dragon Slayer. No! I don't want to be surprised by a red dragon. Alright, well, maybe if I heal more. I was hoping it would use its breath attack. Yeah, heal more costs 8, so... It is... Rather expensive, but worth it. Okay, so yeah, this is the, the north end of the... Oh wait, no! This is something, something different. This is the freebie chest. 
So normally this is where you get the stones of sunlight. Erdrick's sword. Okay, well. I have the, the best sword and armor in the game now. And still no shield, so the only thing I can conceivably want money for at this point is buying a shield, which the large shield costs 3,000, I think? And then the silver sh shield costs 14,000. So it's quite likely that I will not be obtaining the silver shield uh, based on how much money that is, but you never know. It might end up being necessary once I find another town. So yeah, this guy will keep saying to take the treasure chest uh, until uh, until I, I do have the Stones of Sunlight. But now that I have the... Oh. There's no stairs here. Well, what do you call these? So this should just say empty now, right? Yeah. Because I already have the sword. But if I ever accidentally buy a weapon and lose Erdrick's sword, I can go back there and, and get it again. Yeah, if you buy a type of equipment, it, uh, it replaces whatever you have equipped, even if it's worse. So... If you forget that you have Erdrick Sword and, and you buy a weapon, then you have to go go get Erdrick Sword again. Even with the best sword and armor in the game, I don't feel confident fighting red dragons at level eight. Like my, my stats just aren't there yet. Hey, another town. Take care of this wyvern. Well, that was a pretty crappy level. Okay, so we found R Rimmeldar. This is typically the first time you can get magic keys, uh, if I wasn't fortunate enough to get an extra one at the beginning. This lady has no tomatoes today. 55 gold to rest. Kinda steep. So this guy gives you a hint about where you normally would find the fairy flute. But we still haven't found the town of coal. Some gold. Whatever. I'll take it. I am Link. Alright. Just for, for giggles, let's see what kind of equipment they sell here. Yep, nothing I need. Well, I can buy a large shield. Oh, it's only 800, not, not 8,000. Okay. So yeah, the large shield is the best shield besides the silver shield, which costs 14k. And he sells the flame sword, which uh, I don't need, having having Erdrick's sword. Makes it unnecessary. And then up there is the key shop, which you can get to but by going up and around. Uh, but I still have... no. I, I, I don't want... I only have three, so I might as well stock up on keys while I'm here. I like how Link blends in with the background perfectly with his color palette. It's like he's on a literal green screen. It only cost 53 here. Ok. 
Okay, well... I probably don't need the Dragon Scale now, now that I have... Or I probably didn't need it as soon as I got Erdrick's Armor. Yeah, let's sell that just to, to clear an inventory spot. Oh, oh wait, no, this town doesn't have an item shop, that's right. God. The Dark Ages of JR JRPG is where there wasn't an item shop in every single town. Oh wait, there's another town right here. And this is Cole. See? I know the font makes it look a little bit like Koi, uh, but the eyes in this font have a serif, so... As you can see in, in the word item there on the uh, the command menu. I'm trying, lady. Dreadful is the South Island. Great strength and skill and wit only will bring thee back from that place. Well, you're, you're in luck, because I have all three of those. Golem is afraid of the music of the flute, so it is said. I mean, it's not afraid of the music. It's just bored by it. Ah, uh, there we go. Silver shield. 14,800 gold. So this is the last thing we, we need money for, so... We really don't have to worry about money at this point. In Legends, it is said that fairies know how to put the golem to sleep. Yeah, I've... I've sussed all of this out. So, this is one of the, uh... Secret uh, item search spots in the game. There are NPCs that give you hints about it, but basically four steps south of the uh, fountain or what is this thing? A bath? Yeah, this bath cures rheumatism. I I can't get in. No matter how much I beat my face against this bath, it won't let me bathe. Well, let's, uh, let's search right here. Hey, the silver harp. Okay. Interesting. And then you can use a key to unlock this door, but you don't have to, because you can just go around like this. And it can be a pain in the ass because these NPCs can potentially make your life miserable if they won't move in the right direction. And there's an item shop down here. Which I don't really need to get to, but just for completeness sake. What does this guy say? I have found the flute. Go to the town of Cantlin. Oh, okay. So, so that's the clue that would tell tell you tell you the next step, basically. Okay. And you can buy wings, wings of the Chimera, which teleport you back to the castle. The same effect as the return spell. Well, let's go give the harp to that guy and see what we get. And where, where was that guy? He was in Garenham, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the guy in, in Garenham wanted the silver harp. <clears throat> oh, Star Wyvern's Bad news. Taking considerably less damage now that I have the the large shield though. Still still don't feel confident fighting a red dragon. I I should be able to fight a green dragon. I just have to pop a heal more. Oh, 
Oh, the green dragon also has heal more. That's not good. Ah. Oh well. I kind of wanted it to go back to Tanta, Tanta Joe anyway. Because that, that's the easiest way to get back to Garenham, probably. Because it's just east from here. The metal scorpion made me bleed my own blood. I'm still getting surprised an awful lot. Maybe my agility isn't that good. I've heard some people refer to the Drakey as a Drakey. Which, I guess depending on how you look at it, might make sense if, if you see it as like a baby dragon. But I see it as like a vampire bat. It definitely looks more bat-like in later games. Like, in, in the first one, I guess you might say it has sort of dragon-like wings. But I think it's definitely a vampire bat, which makes me think it's it's, it's Drachy. It's like a baby Dracula. Excuse me? Berry water. Empty. And some gold. Alright buddy. I have this harp. What's the, what's the big deal? Staff of Rain? Okay. I will take it. And I haven't found... The Stones of Sunlight... Yeah, I haven't found the Stones of Sunlight yet. And I haven't found the guy that can... Give me the droplet, right? I don't think so. Do I have a torch? I don't. I should buy. I should buy one. <clears throat> Stoneman. I, s I still don't think I'm in good enough shape to fight these. Well, I hmm. Ow. Ah, they have so many hit points. They get pretty decent rewards, though. New spell? Hey, I got Radiant. That's nice. Okay, well, no need to buy a torch now. They're so hard to run from, I wonder if it's worth it to, to just fight them instead.
Ow. Jeez, got the damage range. Like, I thought it was okay. <sighs> okay, I should probably try to run from the stoneman at this point. If I had the sleep spell, I could put them to sleep. Which I probably have a better chance of doing than running. Um... Right, so I wanted to go through the... The swamp cave. The entrance of which is here. Oh, wrong way. <clears throat> Went ahead and replenished my key supply. I will see thee later. I'm into this music. Alright, so now that I have Radiant, I can actually see. Oh, yeah, I guess I could try to see the princess. Let's see what the, uh, what's guarding her. So yeah, other than this little, uh, corner you have to turn, it's just a straight shot to the, to the other side. Also, if I cast outside while I'm in this, this cave, it'll take me to the north, the north entrance slash, slash exit. So that's one way I can quickly get through there if I need to. Oh, I forget. Do these things have hurt more? I think they do. I think I want to stop spell it. Yeah. Probably the right call. Let me get my sound effects back. So, to save the princess, you just have to go... Fifty-five. Eh. I'm kind of surprised they're not running from me as high, as high as my strength is. Oh, it's a red dragon. Oh, that sucks. Uh, maybe it'll just baby breath me. Okay. So far, so good. I think I'm safe for one more hit. Alright, heal more. Ow. Alright, heal more. Don't want to take any risks. I hope this kills it. Uh Yeah. I mean I'm I'm right by the castle, so I can get my MP back, no problem. Oh, Wow. So this is this is the square that uh, has the monster that's guarding the princess, and in in the vanilla game, it's always a green dragon. In the randomizer, there are a few different enemies it can potentially be. Yeah, you better run, droll. So once you fight whatever that enemy is, you can. Open the door. Say hi to the princess. Thou art brave indeed to rescue me, Link. I am Gwaelin, daughter of Lorik. Will thou take me to the castle? I forgot about that little... Huh. That actually wasn't too bad with that music. So now Link is... Carrying the princess? Is that red dragon going to be back? I think I think the trap tiles respawn in the randomizer. Yeah, they do. That's not good. 
I wonder what happens if I die with the princess. I don't really want to find out. Ugh. Oh, and it puts me on the, the other side of it. Interesting. Beasts and Blades. I draw. I draw. So yeah, the the downside of Radiant is that it uh, the radius of light gradually gets smaller and it eventually goes out. But it only costs five MP to recast, which I don't have at the moment. But if I was on like a deep dungeon dive uh, expedition, I would have more MP in the tank. It's kind of weird. You would expect the torch to get smaller and, and eventually flicker out. Like you would expect the, the torch and the radiant spell to, to work the opposite way. I got a surprise for y'all. Oh, she doesn't care. She just tells me about the rainbow bridge. Someone in the castle is excited about the princess, right? No. That guy just says, fight monsters to get stronger. Was it you? Ah, you're welcome. And then th this guy was bummed about the princess too, right? <laughs> he hates me. He wanted to be the one to save her. I mean, she was in the castle basement the whole time. You could have just gone after her. Oh, they, they changed their advice. I didn't know that. Forever shall I be grateful for the gift of my daughter returned to her home link. Accept my thanks. Now Gwaylin come to my side. Gwaylin then whispers, Wait a moment, please. I would give a present to Link. Please accept my love, Link. Even when we two are parted by great distances, I shall be with thee. Farewell, Link. Oh yeah, I might as well save my game, huh? Tempt not the fates. So, I now have Waylon's love, which, uh, much like talking to the king, it tells me how many experience points I need to get to the next level, and she tells me she loves me. And if I was outside the castle, she would tell me how far away from the castle I was. Yes. We have to hear the reward jingle in full at least once. Let's replace the key I just used. Okay, I'm making some progress. So now I suppose I want to go through the swamp cave and more thoroughly explore the other side. Oh right, go through the swamp cave where I just was. I was going to attack it just, just to see how much damage it was, but I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be enough yet. Okay. Yeah, I got distracted.
which means I have to buy another replacement key. That's okay. I have a decent amount of money for now. Alright, don't even need to use Radiant here. I can just cast outside. Oh. I forgot to get my magic points back. Well, let's do that real quick. I, I left the castle to save some time, so I'll have to buy another key, but big deal. My magic points are pretty low. Kind of disappointing for this stage of the game. I will see thee later too. By the way, if you go one step too far here, then uh, you're boned and you have to hope you have another key or you're not getting back here. All right, let's cast outside. Takes me to the other side of the swamp cave and I haven't, I haven't really explored much of this continent. Yeah, in the randomizer, the Swamp Cave doesn't always take you to another continent. Sometimes it just takes you to a different part of the same continent. 26 hit points, nice. 42 match. Okay, well, the game heard me complain. I think I just more than doubled my MP. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, the, the stat, stat gains can be kind of all over the place in the randomizer. Don't heal more. Heal less. YOLO. <sighs> You're not the only one who can heal more. Stop it! I, th I think the green dragon... well, it's not necessarily the same... the same percentage to block stop spell as it is in, in vanilla. But I don't know if there's a way to like know exa exactly what that is. Other than just trying it. No effect. Wait, I haven't been stopped spelled, have I? Ugh, screw this, just run. Just run. Oh my god. That was so annoying. A Drachy. Oh, just run. Goldman, sure. I'll fight a Goldman. Carry its body home in Goldman sacks. Right, so this is where Charlock is. Or Charlock. Really rather not fight a red dragon. Or I could. You know, whatever. Ugh, I'm facing the cruel reality right now. Because that's the name of the song that's playing. It is cruel cruel reality. I know it's no longer on the screen, but that's what it is.
Well, at least I have my full supply of magic points now. Uh, after the last level, even though it, it increases your, your max HP and MP, it, it doesn't refill them. So now I have ample magic points to cast heal more compared to before. Ah, uh, so the movement in this game is so bad, like, if you're at a standstill like this, there's like several frames of, of input lag before you start moving again, and if you keep the d-pad held down, you don't have that. But turning can still be like weird and unresponsive. Yeah, this game, none of the NES Dragon games control well. Oh yeah. Going shopping for keys. Cast outside, which is only 6 MP. Star Wyvern, these things are bad. I forget what they do. I, th I think it's Dragon Lord Breath. Whatever it is, I don't want to mess with them. This is a dangerous part of town. Like, I can kill a red dragon, but it would drain almost all of my resources. Demon Knights, I think, are bad, but I think it's because they cast Hurt more in, in Vanilla, so they might not be as bad in the Randomizer. Okay. Okay, yeah, that wasn't bad. They're very scary looking. They also have high evasion, so they dodge a lot. And this one has Hurt which is less damage than its attack. Heal myself up. Oh, I should probably un unmute the sound effects, huh? They, they do hit kinda hard. Holy crap, this encounter rate. A wolf. You know, just a standard, everyday wolf. Yeah, sand tiles have the highest encounter rate. Uh, green dragons would be decent experience if they didn't have heal more. I mean, they're still decent experience. They they just take forever to kill. Nighty night. Was this cave right? This is where I got the sword. Okay. All right. There's several towns I still haven't found. I haven't found Breconary. Haven't found Cantlin. Haven't found Hawksness. Wolf Lord. Eh, nah, they don't seem very lordly.
Magic Wyvern. I don't think I fought these yet. Okay, yeah. Not as bad as Star Wyvern. Unless they have have Dragon Lord Breath. And I just got lucky. Okay, yeah. Been here. So which which helm was this? Right, coal. Okay. And I'm still not particularly close to buying the silver shield. If in fact the silver shield is for sale here. also a few caves I haven't found because I haven't found Garen, Garen's grave or the mountain cave. There could be important items there. Alright, nice little HP and MP buff there. Or boost, I guess. It's not a buff. Because buff usually means something temporary. Scorpions all over the place. Uh, yeah, I guess knights are technically killable. Okay, I guess there's not much more to this continent than I, I already saw. Stoneman! Still don't have sleep. That sucks. Oh, they have heal more? I don't like that. they hurt. Like, it should be decent XP if I, if I kill it, but... It takes so long to kill. Ah! And their damage range. Okay, well. Kinda don't want to be on that continent right now, anyway. Alright, so where have I not explored? Because I gotta find the Stones of Sunlight. That's pretty much all I need. Quest item-wise. Okay. Oh, is this, is this Garen's grave? I think it might be. Yeah. Yes, it is. And yes, I'm sorry, I was consulting a map. I don't have 
uh, the dungeons quite memorized. Wraith. So I want to stop spell these, right? Yeah, because they have hurt more. Hurt more does less damage to me now that I have Erdrick's armor, but still something I'd rather not be hit by. So if that chest is empty, that means it probably had a magic key, and I couldn't get it because I already have six. Wait, I'm not full on items, am I? Four, five, six. No, I should have a, a, three more slots. Porch. Well, I'm just going to use that, just so it's not in my inventory. And then cast Radiant again. I know it's a waste. And wings. Oh, I like this tune. Deep Sea Ruins. Um... Okay, so I think I have to go south for this locked door. Damn, that's rough. It would suck if I got here without a second key. Okay. So from here, I want to go... Uh... Sorry, these layouts are a tad confusing. Okay, there's really only one way that I can go. Wait. No. Okay, so here, I'm gonna go this way. Hi, Goldman. By Goldman. Nice. I can one shot a Goldman. All right. So I want to go here, and then, dang, scorpions have even infiltrated the dungeons. Herb. Okay, and then I just go down and around. Get out of my way, Draki. Get out of my way, Scorpion. The walls are closing in on me. Ah! God, this encounter rate! E even if I did have repel, it doesn't work in dungeons. So I want to go up here, and then... Here, I want to go... So from here, I want to go over here. Oh, the gold men have sleep. That's cute. 
So sleep always procs when the enemy casts it on you, and you have a 50% chance of, of waking up. Don't want to deal with a golem right now. Or ever, really. I don't want to fight a Star Wyvern. I'll fight a Drakki. I mean, it's probably a waste of time to even fight stuff that low level. And I'd be better off just running from it. But with the tech speed turned up, fighting really doesn't take that much longer than running. Alright, was it this staircase? Yes. And uh, so normally this would lead to the Silver Harp, which it might not necessarily lead to any important item in the randomizer, but I do have to check. Make sure that it's not something important. Magic key? Oh yeah, <clears throat> I guess I used one. Oh, don't use Dragon Lord Breath on me. Alright, I'm just going to cast outside. Okay, nothing important in, in Garen's Grave. Good to know. I'm going to cast Heal more. Get myself up to full. Yeah, full. Doing pretty well in, in the health department. Alright, so from here it's just a matter of finding the other the other dungeon, mount the mountain cave, and finding Hawksness and finding Cantlin, because Cantlin has an NPC who can tell you where to search for Oh, I shouldn't have attacked. God, Star Wyverns are just brutal. Um, but yeah, the NPC in, in Canlan can tell you where to find the the search spot that would be Erdrick's token, but it's not that. But it's going to be some. It's going to be something important. Maybe it could also be nothing. Glad I found this fairy flute pretty early. Is I've had to face down a lot of golems. A Wraith Knight. Uh, they hit kind of hard. Okay, but but they're fairly weak. Ah. Uh. Okay, Wiz wizards can heal themselves, but at least they can't heal more themselves. And they're worth decent experience, too. New spell? Uh, hey, I got sleep. That that'll help against the stone men. And some of the dragons. Like, I think the red dragons are mostly immune to sleep, but the blue dragons and, and the green dragons might be sleepable. Ah. Ah, the, the agility on those guys. It's brutal. I mean, it's, it's not agility. It's uh, a dodge percentage, which is a separate stat. Draw Magi. Just one of them. Hey, here's a town. This is probably Hawkness, right? No, this is Cantlin. The castle town. Did 
Just checking to see if the shop sells the silver shield. It doesn't. Yeah, I've held Erdrich's armor. Nope, the last fellow to have it, or the last to have it, was a fellow named Link. Who is me. I can buy uh, fairy water from, from this establishment. Nestor. Man, was there a Nintendo Power reference in this game? That's weird. But there was like a... Like, the whole thing with this game was... They were worried it wouldn't be popular in the, in the US, so they like gave it away to Nintendo Power subscribers or something, right? I guess that makes sense that there would be some sort of crossover there. So this is the hint that tells you where you would normally find Erdrick's armor. Alright, what do you have for sale, buddy? Nothing. Uh, it's pretty good. I, I don't know if it can cleave steel. How am I doing on keys? Okay, I still have, still have all six. That's what I thought. Alright, so this is the NPC that tells you where the search spot is. 63 leagues south and 3 to the east. Okay. So I'm probably going to have to go back to the castle. Alright, I, I have to remember this. 63 south, 3 east. Six, 63 south, 3 east. So 3 is like a backwards E. So I can remember that. 63 E. Or no. 3 E. 63 south. Uh, do I have anything I want to sell? Yeah, I want to sell this dragon scale. I don't need it anymore. And I'll sell the wings, because I have return. I don't need them. Uh, and that's it. I'd like to buy some radishes. You won't let me buy the radishes. I might as well rest. Not like I'm short on gold. Okay, so where am I right now? Oh. Wait. So I think there's a mistranslation with with the uh, the position. Oh wait, no, because it, oh, okay, so it's sixty three south of the castle. Aw, I love you too, Quaylen. All right, so if I move here. Sixty four. Oh, wait, I'm moving. Uh, I was moving west and I was looking at looking at north. So if I go right here and then search Stones of Sunlight, well, I'll be danged. Okay. I'll take them. So now all I gotta do is find the old man that can turn them into the, the rainbow drop. And then grind like three more levels so I can so I can kill their dragon horde. And that's it. That would be a, a successful run. Oh, 
Oh, it has Dragon Lord Breath. That sucks. God, so many hit points. I need hurt more, is what I need. So yeah, I think in the, in the vanilla game, there's a mis mistranslation in the coordinates that the person gives you, which makes it sound... It makes it sound different than it is, but and I think they, they fixed it in the, in the randomizer, but, but basically you just want the numbers to match. Alright, this has to be the old one, right? No? This would be the mountain cave. Right? Yeah. And there's not going to be anything here that I need. So I'm not going to bother. Alright, so I want to cast sleep. No effect! Yeah. You better fall asleep. The stone men are supposed to be like super vulnerable to sleep. You can heal yourself, it's not going to do much good. This has to be the old man. If I would stop being attacked by an infinite number of scorpions. Yeah, there he is. Alright, give me that give me that droplet. Now the sun and rain shall meet, and the rainbow drop passes to thy keeping. Nice. So I am ready to take on Castle Sherlock. Whether I'm ready to defeat the Dragon Lord yet? Probably not, but... I mean, other than, than grinding 14,000 gold to get the Silver Shield, and, and grinding more levels, there's nothing else that, that I have to do. And the, sil the Silver Shield is no slouch. Like, it's... I think it's double the, the defensive power of the Large Shield. It has cost so much money. You kind of have to use your your imagination for what hurt and, and hurt more are actually doing in this game. In the remakes, I think that they are localized as Sizz and Sizzle, which are basically the the weak fire spells that. Ow that you get at the beginning of every uh, Dragon Quest game. I didn't know the wolf, the wolf had Dragon Dragon Lord Breath. That's a bummer. See you later, Stoneman. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. 
Armor Knight. Well, not bad when you get a crit. And crits in this game aren't based on any sort of stat or anything, it's just a flat 1 in 32 chance. And because the the critical hit chance is totally separate from the enemy's dodge chance, this game has the amusing situation ow, of uh, getting a critical hit that the enemy then dodges, which uh, always fun when that happens. Ow. My gosh. These things have Dragon Lord Breath? God, does everything have Dragon Lord Breath? They they've just been holding back on me. <sighs> Repel would be nice. Might as well rest. Hey, a magician. Nice, uncomplicated magician. Hmm, my HP and MP are the same. Well, except that I took damage, but they're practically the same. Oh, well, I found Breconary. This is normally the town that is directly east of the starting castle, where you buy your starting equipment. Unfortunately, there is nothing of use here at this stage of the game. Well, there's the guy who will remove curses if you get cursed, but most people are not going to equip an item called Cursed a belt or death necklace. Yeah. Kind of a dead giveaway with that name. And then if you use a magic key on this door, you get a hint about the silver harp, which is kind of generic. Not not that great for costing a key to find out. Blue Dragon? Do I wanna... I think the Dragon Lord Breath, that's right. Normally, the only enemy in the game that has Dragon Lord Breath is the Dragon Lord, hence the name, but with randomized skills and spells, any or every enemy in the game can't potentially have Dragon Lord Breath. Well, I found Hawk Hawksness. The name of this town is weird, but when I watch streamers play it, I always think that they're saying Hawk's Nest, like the bird. But it's it's H-A-U-K-N-E-S-S, -S, so Hawk Hawkness. Nice boost to my uh, agility there. That's good to see. Did I, did I get repel finally? Nope, I got hurt. Or no, I had I had her. I, I got heal. So I can cast that instead of heal more if I want to. If I want to save some NP. So this uh, forest tile has a trap enemy and some some item on it.
or it might not have an item in the randomizer. Normally, this is where you get uh, Erdrick's armor. Oh, wait, I think it hurt more at some point. That's nice to have. I, I think blue dragons have a little bit of resistance, um, which means there's a small chance that the spell won't work on them. Like it's, it doesn't like reduce the damage or anything, but it makes it worth using for sure. Okay, so there's nothing on on this uh, tile, and that's something that can happen in the randomizer, is that. Uh, instead of being buried, uh, an item can show up in a chest, which is what happened in my case. And if I wanted to, I can repeatedly fight blue dragons here. Except, uh, hurt more had no effect there. Yeah, so it looks like they have a decent chance of resisting it. But still, probably better than than trying to attack them. Well, I don't know how much damage do I deal. Yeah, fourteen, which compared to sixty something. All right, so a hurt more and, and two uh, two melee attacks can kill a blue dragon. So I don't have to hit it with two hurt mores. Gotta be careful and keep an eye on my health. Oh, the wizard has baby breath. Oh, the wizard. The wizard can't hit me for shit at this point. That, that's a good enemy. That's like almost as much experience as the, the, blue, the blue dragon. And it's much less dangerous. Alright, well, I'm just going to return to the castle at this point. Because I think that... Castle, Sh castle Sherlock is on this side of the Swamp Cave, right? Pretty sure it is. Alright, so I'm just going to get my MP back. I'm at my max HP. Oh yeah, also, your, your hit points slowly regenerate when you wear... Erdrick's armor. I, for, I forgot to mention that. Uh, every, every step you take restores a little bit of health. I think it's one one hit point per step. Alright, so Castle Sherlock I think it was to the west. I think I'm going the wrong way. But I want to be sure a lot to keep straight in this game. A lot of stuff you have to, rem to rem remember, and uh, a, lo a lot of stuff that can run together between randomized runs. Like, I will think I remember something, but I'm actually remembering something from a previous random seed, which is a danger of randomizers. I might actually be strong enough to take on the Dragon Lord. Ugh. Can I hurt more the Armor Knight? Yeah. That's pretty decent. Alright, let's let's rest here. Get my MP back. Which I haven't used that many magic points, but I want as many as possible if I do try to face the Dragon Lord. Nice. Nice crit. Maybe I should buy a bunch of fairy waters just, just so I don't have to fight all these trash mobs. Dang. This is a crunchy tune. It sounded like a Genesis track for a moment there. 
course, you can't buy fairy waters in this town. Anyway. I mean, the game could just be nice and give me repel, but it doesn't seem interested in that. Hmm. My defense might be a little low for fighting the, the Dragon Lord, honestly. But it's worth a shot, you know? And I'll fight enemies and, and level up on the way there, so even if the Dragon Lord kills me, it won't have been a waste. Dang. Wizards have a lot of hit points. Is this knight just punching me? Like, the sprite clearly looks like it should be holding a weapon, but it's not. Dang, this is some intense music. Would have been appropriate if I actually was fighting the Dragon Lord there. Oh, all of these encounters, my god. <sighs> Level up, I'll take it. Nice little power boost. No repel. Right, these things have heal more. Well, guess what? I have the opposite of heal more. How do you like them apples? Oh. On the forest, like it's a higher encounter rate than than the grass, but it shouldn't be that high. Or it's a higher yeah, it's a higher encounter rate than, than the grass. Oh, I don't want to fight a red dragon. I don't want to fight a red dragon. <sighs> oh. This game's encounter rate usually isn't this bad. And that's not something that should be affected by the random seed either. Alright, I think I went the wrong way. I love the, the ghost sprite. It's very silly. Bye. Vern World. Jules Vern? See, this is why I don't listen to the game's music, because if I was hearing the, the battle music start up as frequently as I'm getting encounters, I would have quit a long time ago. <sighs> okay, I'm not ready for the for the Dragon Lord yet. With with as much damage as just trash mobs are doing to me, or as long as it's taking me to kill the trash mobs. Alright, I think I, I think I do need to go through the swamp cave to get to, to Sherlock. <sighs> oh, 
Well, at least I can put those things to sleep more consistently now. Just let me run. I don't want to fight a Star Wyvern. I'll fight a wolf. Wolves, wolves ain't shit. I guess I'll fight a knight. God, it's so nice to have found the Erdrich's armor early. Because otherwise, I would have had to explore through all of those swamps and take, taking damage on every step. If I was racing right now, I, w I would be doing very badly. Because I'm just not good at remembering where things are. But luckily this isn't a race, this is a casual run. What was in here? Oh right, the mountain cave. I don't need to go in. I don't need to explore that. For a second I straight up thought this music was, we wish you a Merry Christmas. You can see why I thought that, right? It definitely has a similar melody. I mean, I don't feel that bad getting lost and wander wandering around because I have to level up anyway. And this might be a decent way to do it. Can I hurt more of this thing? Yeah, I can. Blah. That's my impression of enemies that stick their tongues out. Alright, I'm going through the, the swamp cave. I'm pretty sure that's where I have to go. Alright, do I have to heal more? No. There's a toggle on the randomizer that will disable a lot of screen flashing effects, which I appreciate. Like, I don't know how dangerous they actually are, like, to people with epilepsy. I, they're not, like, sustained, so I don't think they're long enough to, like, trigger an episode or anything. Um... But they're still annoying, like, in general. And even if they don't, like, trigger a seizure, they can still cause, like, discomfort and, and headaches. There are still some flashing effects, but, like, uh, all, all the ones where you cast a spell, or normally when that guy refills your magic points, uh, that's, uh, it has a flashing effect there, so it, it removes those. It still has the red flash when you walk on damage tiles, though, which is kind of un un unfortunate. But luckily, I found Erdrich's armor early, so I didn't have to deal with many of those. Ow, ow, ow. I think having Erdrich's armor makes me immune to stop spell, too. It has quite a few benefits associated with it. Let's 
good armor. Aww. I mean, it feels... sacrilegious to run away from a metal slime. Like, I'm so used to later Dragon Quest games where if you get a metal slime, you gotta at least try to kill it. But they're not worth that much XP in the grand scheme of things in this game, so... Like, it might not even be worth it. But it would just feel wrong if I did run from them. I actually might be able to tank the Dragon Lord because I have so many magic points. I can cast, uh, I'm trying to do the math in my head. Not a good idea. Um, but heal more costs eight, which means I can cast it 15 times in battle. Uh, I would fight the green dragon if it didn't have heal more. I don't want to fight the star wyvern. Alright, or Sherlock. This way? Like, is that why I was thinking it was west? Because it's west from the, the swamp cave exit? No. Yeah, a lot of the tracks from the Super Nintendo music collection don't have names associated with them. So the RPG playlist is just a bunch of tracks called Dungeon, Dungeon 2, Battle, Battle 2, Final Battle. Better Axe Knights right now. Uh, not too bad. Alright, that has to be Repel, right? Yeah, finally. So it's not going to repel every enemy, just the low level enemies, but it should still make things substantially less annoying. Oh. Okay, so where where you end up at the other side of the the swamp cave is connected to the same continent. Okay. I'm getting surprised in so many of these fights. Like you would think I have zero agility. Okay, well, having Repel is making hunting for Sherlock a little bit more tolerable. Alright, that's nothing. That's a red dragon. I feel like I want to be down there. I don't know if I remember how to get down there. Also, I think 
I think in the randomizer, uh, you always get all of the spells by level 16. So, I got Repel lit literally as late as possible. Good stuff. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I could have been... buying fairy water and stuff. I'm, I'm just used to having Repel much sooner. Just because it typically works out that way. Here we go. Okay. So, basically, I just want to keep going east from, uh... from Tantagel, and I'll eventually get there. Alright, let's use this rainbow drop. So, this will... This will involve, uh, some spe special music here. So, let me mute that for now. Link held the rainbow drop toward the sky. Bridge. This is always referred to as the rainbow bridge. And the bridge itself isn't a rainbow, which it really should be. Maybe in the remakes it is. I'm not sure. Alright, Castle Sherlock. So, theoretically, we should be fighting the strongest enemies in the game here. I mean, we would be if it was vanilla. And I, th I think they keep it that way in the randomizer. Because, yeah, werewolves and stone men are, are both, both Sherlock class enemies. So, at some point, you, you get a hint about how to find the Dragon Lord, uh, which is searching behind the throne. And you find a secret passage. And you, you go down the secret passage. And you have a dungeon. And in vanilla Dragon Quest, this dungeon is where you get Erdrich's sword. Which, you don't technically need Erdrich's sword to defeat the Dragon Lord. No effect. But uh, it, it would be very difficult without it. Oh yeah, Repel doesn't work in dungeons. Dodging? Yeah, dodge that. Asshole. Alright, I might be able to, to do this without consulting my maps. Because if you don't have to find the sword... Oof. Nah, I want to save my MP. I'll just fight. If you don't have to find the sword, it's relatively straightforward to get to the Dragon Lord. So, there's pretty much only one one way I can go from here. Golem. This music. This is some some creepy dungeon exploration music. I don't want to fight a red dragon. I mean, I will if I have to. If I don't have to, why would I? So I want to go. Yeah, I'll fight a werewolf. Ooh, the name of this track is City of the Dead. No wonder it sounds creepy. So I'm gonna go up these stairs. Or do I? No, I don't think I do. I think I want to go up 
Yeah, down these stairs. Alright, let's cast Radiant again. Don't want to go down those. I think I want to go down these. And then do like a, a U loop around here. And then I think it's pretty much a straight shot. Hey, yeah, look at that. Did not have to cons ugh. consult the map on this one. And that is the Dragon Lord over to the right. There's some chests you can get here. There's usually nothing good in them. I mean, there is nothing good in them, in vanilla. But I might as well check. Even though I have all of the important items. Actually, I don't know what, what could be in here that would even be, be useful to me. Because there's not going to be a silver shield, because that's something that's never in a chest. You'll, you'll always have to buy it. Um. Yeah, there's probably literally no reason to get these. Oh well. Got some gold. Got some more gold. Oops. An herb. Empty, which means that was probably another herb that I couldn't pick up. A torch. Yay. And some gold. So yeah, uh, typically all of the high value gold chests you know, this is where they are. The ones that have like 500 plus. And um, that was the case in the randomizer this time too. I didn't know Shin Megami Tensei games had casinos in them. That, that seems too lighthearted for an SMP game. Don't make me fight a blue dragon. Urgh, I'm the Dragon Lord. Look at how angry I am. Alright, I don't know if I can pull this off, but if not, then... I mean, I could... cast outside, go back and buy the Silver Shield. But... honestly... I can't be bothered spending that kind of time. Is this the? Yeah. So this is a this is a, a trap tile, which means if you run away, it'll put you one square to the north, uh, which means you have to fight the monster here. Uh, similar to when I say the princess, the trap tile there, and the the trap tile on uh, uh, the the square in in Hawksness, the ruined town. All right. Do I want to waste MP on hurt more? Let's see how it goes without it. Okay, well, that could have gone better. Now I can walk back and forth a little bit. And try to get some MP back, but I'm ultimately going to have to heal more anyway. But that's okay. Alright, I'd like to be at max HP when I fight the Dragon Lord, so let's just cast a regular heal. Alright, well, not max, but close enough. And I have enough MP to cast 10 heal mores, which should be enough? Theoretically? If I'm not attacked by a bunch of stuff? Alright, so now I have full HP. 
Welcome, Link. I am the Dragon Lord, King of Kings. Oops. Yeah, sometimes that happens when, when you have fa fast text turned on. I give thee now a chance to share this world and to rule half of it if thou wilt now stand beside me. What sayest thou? Will the great warrior stand with me? Yes. Wait, no. Thou art a fool. Aww. Look at the cute little dragon lord. A dragon lord draws near. You know, one one of the the dragon lords. They come in six packs now. Okay. Oh shit! The dragon lord was a dragon! No one could have seen this coming. Oh, six. That's not gonna do it. Oh boy. Oh, Link, you gotta do better than that, buddy. <sighs> yeah, this is this isn't gonna work. Oh no. Uh and hurt and, and and hurt more don't work on the dragon lord. I mean it can. Uh he has a a, a fifteen out of sixteen chance of resisting it. Which means that I have like a seven percent chance to hit with it. But with the with the kind of damage that I'm doing Maybe I should try the 7%. Ugh. It's not gonna work. N none of this is gonna work. Nope. Alright, well, I will take my beating, sir. Are dead. No, I'm pretty sure death should should have taken me there. 710 experience. Just lost 7,000 gold. I mean, defense wasn't my my issue there, because, you know, if I was doing enough damage, then spamming heal more would have been enough to to keep me alive. Oh, my HP and MP are exactly the same now. Fascinating. Even when we two are parted by great distances, I shall be with thee. I can't- I can't say no. Like, it would- it would hurt my heart to see what happens if I say no. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Go look it up on Google if you want to see what see what happens. Cause I I ain't saying no. <sighs> All right, well I guess it's just grind a couple more levels. Which means I want to be in the vicinity of Charlotte Castle or Sherlock. Because that's where all the high XP enemies are. And four hits to kill an armor knight. At some point, I'm going to I'm going to gain a level, and I'm, I'm just going to get like 20 strength out of it, because I must be super far behind. Yeah, my attack power is 119, which is not great. I mean, I mean, it's good, but not not for the end game, you know.
It's nice to be feared by scorpions. I played a lot of Fallout. I have a less than stellar track record with scorpions. Wait, with Demon Barmodo. That's a good name for a demon. The Star Wyverns are decent experience. As long as they don't Dragon Lord Breath me. Well, five points of power. I'm afraid that's not going to be enough. But if I if I keep fighting these red dragons, I will level up relatively quickly. I will have to go back and rest before I can take another shot at the dragon lord. Seems like a decent decent enough grinding spot. Maybe I should have come back for the Silver Shield and just fought stuff on, on my way back to the castle to level up some. I overestimated my ability to do damage to the Dragon Lord. Wait, what was that? 124. I mean, my defense isn't fantastic either, but again, I mean, you're going to spam your way through the Dragon Lord fight with Heal Mores. Like, no matter how much de defense you have. Eight hundred and ninety-nine? Okay. So like four more red dragons. Keep in mind that the experience that you get has been rebalanced to match the uh, the remakes. So monsters give more experience. And I also have a fifty percent faster leveling turned on. So I'm getting an additional boost on top of that. Compared to like vanilla Dragon Warrior 1. Oh, don't dodge. Like, the amount of grinding that you have to do in the original game is just absurd. I would not recommend van vanilla Dragon Warrior 1 to anyone. Like, if you play it, play with one of the patches that gives you like four times experience because. Like, as it is, it's like, uh, two-hour game with 30 hours of grinding piled on it. Like, it, it is not- it is not well balanced. If you want to play vanilla Dragon Warrior 1 or Dragon Quest 1, I, I might have mentioned this, but, uh, I would definitely recommend the Super Famicom remake with the fan translation. Uh, I, f I finished the game that way. Uh, and it was a, re a relatively good experience. It's Dragon Quest 1 and 2. And Dragon Quest 2... I really want to like it. It is extremely difficult. Like, even even the remake of it for the Super Famicom is... Like... 
way harder than it should be. And I'm, I'm currently playing through the Super Famicom remake of Dragon Quest 3, which seems really good. Like, I think that might be the best... Like, the best Dragon Quest... Uh, like, the best version of the best Dragon Quest game. Pre Dragon Quest V. Oh, 9 power. 16 hit points. And some magic points. 133 attack power. Is it enough? Somehow I don't think so. But I'll give it another shot now. Don't worry, it's only the, be the beginning that's fearsome. Wait, that's not true. Like, the ending is, like, way harder than the beginning. <sighs> ah, this thing still hurts really bad. And it still has so many hit points. I mean, keep in mind that the golem is technically a boss. Actually, I forget. Can can the golem show up as a regular enemy in Sherlock? Or is that just the randomizer? Alright, well, I might get one more level. Just... Through fighting stuff that, that sh shows up. I don't want to fight the golems, though. They just have way too many hit points, which makes me think that I'm still not do not doing enough damage to to kill the dragon lord. Ugh. I think I'm going the wrong way to get back to a town. The music keeps trying to sneak sneak its way in there, but I ain't having it. I think some of the tracks in this game are actually pretty good for a Nintendo game. It's just that battle music is so bad. And it happens so often. All right, rest up, brave Link, for you march unto certain death. Man, I should really have the big shield for this fight. Still walking around with this dinky little normal shield. Glad the big shield doesn't cost 14,000 rupees in Legend of Zelda. That would be slightly unbalanced. I am still planning to do the second quest, by the way. I, I, I just thought that this would be a fun interlude. I've been playing... Ugh. You know, I've been playing a few seeds here and there, and I've actually completed a, a couple which gave me the confidence I needed to do a video of it. Um, I mean, I guess this would really make more sense as a stream rather than an offline recording, but, well, A, people usually aren't up when I'm streaming anyway, so it might functionally not be that much different. Um, but B, I, I, I also wanted to give my chance, g give myself a chance to bail if I felt like it was a disaster. And I, I, I have had seeds that were total disasters before. This one is actually pretty good. Like, as, as much trouble as I'm having at the moment, I went the wrong way. Um... You know, I've, I've found my way around the world for the most part. I've I found the, you know, Erdrick Sword and Armor, which 
is a great boon. Like, believe it or not, this is one of the better seeds that I've had. Because I've had a lot of a lot of non-starters. Oops, sorry. I bumped the mic stand. <sighs> Trying to conserve as much MP as possible. Oh, never mind. YOLO. Jesus. I think I will cast Repel. It might not help, but it might let me get some hit points back with my armor. This agility is killing me. Like I'm I'm constantly getting surprised still. I'm not running away often enough. Alright, this is the way to Sherlock, right? Surprising me. Please. No, this is the dead end. What the hell? Not now, dragon. I'm trying to figure this out. Like, I thought I kept going east from, from Garenham. Is that not the case? I mean, I, I might as well sleep again now, now that I'm back in this area. Speaking of sleep. Yeah, I must have to go left first before I go, or, you know, go west before I go east. I do have the mute button mapped to my controller. I should probably start using it more often. The only problem is that I forget to unmute it. Okay, I can three shot a stone man now. Which is better. But my sense of direction and memory are just so bad. Now there is a game name. Dark Law, Meaning of Death. This game, I don't know anything about it, but it must be serious business. Alright, that's just mountains. I can't keep going east from, from Garenham. Nowhere to go there. Yeah, Repel lost its effect. What effect? I'm still getting owned by Star Wyverns and Armor Knights.
Do I have to go north here? Yeah. Okay. Nope. Well, okay. I'll take it. I'll take a critical hit on a green dragon. Okay, yeah, I totally forgot. I had to go north there. That's on me. For some reason, I thought that was going to dead end. Alright, Sherlock. Hope you're ready for round two. I'm not. I hope at least one of us is. Dang, I just did 55 to it. That's pretty good. Not a golem. Not a golem that surprises me. Yeah, I should just mute it when, when I play the fairy flute and unmute it when it's done. Aroma of stew. Dang, I should I could go for some stew. Okay, well, I didn't really get the giant strength boost I was hoping for. But I'm three levels higher than I was last time, so hopefully I should be able to do okay. Oh, by the way, all of the, the movement problems I was talking about are magnified by like a thousand percent when you're in a dungeon. Like the, the lag, the latency of moving around is so much worse. Luckily, there's not a lot of bad places you can accidentally stumble into. When you're in dungeons. Heal more. Okay, well. Now you get to sleep. I was going to kill you until you cast heal more. That wasn't part of the deal. That wasn't part of the deal more. Ooh. Nice crit. By the way, that chest over there is typically where you find Erdrick's sword in, in vanilla. Of course, I get a crit, and then I'm immediately surprised by the next one. Oh, I guess I didn't need to cast heal more there. I could have waited and walked around a little bit. Max, the max level in this game, by the way, is 30. And you absolutely do not need to get anywhere close to 30 to finish the game. And it's kind of ridiculous that it goes that high. Because in, in the vanilla game, I think you get the last spell, which is hurt more, at level 19. Or, or is it 20 in vanilla? And when I say the game takes 30 hours to beat, you know, that's just getting high enough level that it's possible to beat the game. Like, I don't even want to think about how long it would take to actually get to 30. But people did it. For reasons, stop surprising me. Please. Sorry, I shouldn't sigh into the microphone. Well, I guess I'm fighting this thing now. Yeah, 
Yeah, if this was a race, I, I would be in last place. Because, you know, I'm not a speedrunner. Like, I watch speedrunners play the game. But I'm not... I'm not at that level myself. And I'm okay with that. I'm at the level where just completing a seed is, is a fun challenge. Just finishing one. Because, you know, a few months ago, when I started watching people play this game, I didn't think I would be able to finish this, finish the seed myself. But I've, you know, watched people play enough, and I've studied the game enough that I'm, I'm able to have a fun time with it. Wait, I, I don't know anything about this Tengai Machio Zero game, but every time a song from it pops up, I feel like it's a it's a jam. All right, what was the trap tile? Blue dragon? Eh. I'm the Dragon Lord, look how angry I am. He's holding a giant... wrench? Or it's like one of, the, one of those floss sticks that people use to floss their teeth. With like the tiny little thing at the end, containing a tiny little bit of floss. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up, get up to max health this way. Especially not if I keep getting surprised. Okay, I'll just cast a heal more. And a heal, just to pop myself up. <sighs> yes, I'll stand with you, Dragon Lord. No. I mean, I probably am a fool. I got my ass handed to me last time. Still took me three hits to kill the first form. Okay, I'm dealing damage to it now at least. By which I mean double digit damage. Oh, that's a... that's a tongue twister. Alright, gotta heal, heal more myself just in case the, the next attack was breath, which it was. alive. Yeah, 48 is like the max damage Dragon Lord Breath can deal. So as long as I have more than 48 hit points, I'll survive. Also, uh, in the original version of this game, you always go first on every turn, uh, unless the enemy surprises you, and that that's only the first round. I'm, I'm more used to the Super Famicom remake of this game, in which uh, you don't necessarily always go first in a round, it depends on, on your agility and the enemy's agility. So, like, as, as long as... I uh, I know that as long as I have more than 48 hit points, I can survive whatever his next attack is. 
which is good to know. Because there's no way it's going to happen before my before my turn happens. Alright, this is getting close. Oh, I have done well in defeating the Dragon Lord. I found the Ball of Light. Radiant streams forth as thy hands touch the object and hold it aloft. Across the land spreads the brilliance until all shadows are banished and peace is restored. So... That's it. All of the enemies are gone. In the vanilla game, it replaces all of the swamp tiles. Well, actually, that might only be the remake. Uh, but once you once you beat the Dragon Lord, all of the swamp tiles are gone, and and there are flowers growing in their place, which is a nice effect. This is more appropriate victory music, even if it is just a just a town theme. So yeah, no more random encounters. And if you uh, if you go around to the towns, then people have different dialogue about your victory. You know, it's kind of a tradition in, in Dragon Quest to to do a tour of the world and and talk to people. Thou hast brought us peace again. I think it might not be as much dialogue as. <laughs> yes, long live Link. Yeah, sort of, sort of limited dialogue here. Okay, well, we're not going around to every single town because I'm going to cast Return and go back to the castle. King Lorik awakes, awaits. Yeah, they don't have much to say. They have more to say in the, in the Super Famicom remake. More varieties of dialogue. I mean, it's all just about, you know, how happy they are that, that the Dragon Lord is dead. Uh, the one bad thing about having the music turned off is I don't get my victory fanfare here. I think. Unless the music kicks back in here. Oops. Uh, yeah, so I've proven that I'm the last of the line, or the the next in line of Erdrich. It is only right to rule over this land. Will thou take my place, Link? Link thought carefully before answering. I cannot, said Link. <gasps> Non-silent protagonist. What a twist. If ever I am to rule a country, it must be a land that I find, that I myself find. Waylon said, please wait. I wish to go with thee on thy journey. May I travel as thy companion? Uh, you know, I really tend to go things alone. I don't really, you know, do well with a party. Oh. I see. Yes, you may travel. And thus the tale comes to an end, unless the dragons return again. Oh, I, I do get the fanfare. Nice. Congratulations, thou hast restored peace unto the world, but there are many roads yet to travel. May the light shine upon thee. Thank you. I hope the light shines upon me too. Yuji Hori? I know that guy. Oh, Akira Toriyama! 
He made the Dragon Ball. This guy. The, the less said about him, the better. All of the uh, credits use the real names, which is nice. You, you don't see that a lot in old Nintendo games. People tended to use a lot of pseudo pseudonyms. Special thanks to Howard Phillips. He was the Nintendo Power guy. Or he was like the, the president of N Nintendo of America, but he also had a lot to do with Nintendo Power, the magazine. So, yeah, there was like a huge uh, like cross-promotion thing. And then you get some extra credits for the people who made the randomizer. Which they deserve it. This thing is awesome. This is an extremely good randomizer. I have a lot of fun with it. And I hope you had fun watching. Start my music back up again so it's not just silence. Uh, yeah. Um, I enjoy this. It shouldn't take three hours to complete that seed. Or, you know, people who are serious about the game and speedrun it and everything. Uh, they, they wouldn't have taken three hours. But, you know, I'm... I'm a casual, and I'm fine with that. I'm exploring what the world of video games has to offer. Um, maybe someday I'll be good enough to participate in a race, we'll see. Uh, but I plan to do more of these every now and then. Load up a seed, see if I get, uh, get one that really, uh, you know, induces more salt. As, as they say in video game land these days, um, because this one was relatively tame. Um, there are seeds where the castle starts in the middle of the swamp, and it's impossible to take more than three steps without dying, and when that happens, I, I typically just, just roll a different seed, um, which is why you know I, I made sure that that didn't happen this time. Um, but there are other ways to get very monumentally screwed by by the randomness, which, um, you know, my next scene might not be successful, or I might do way better, you know? You just gotta wait and see. But, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll get back to the real Legend of Zelda second quest before too long. Too much longer. Bye, everyone.